hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can properly sync your ironfish node uh, for recently there have occurred some issues regarding the snapshot uh, downloads through windows powershell so i found a way to fix this uh, and also what you want to do is if you have an ironfish version above 0 0.1.70 you want to downgrade your ironfish version to 0 0.1.70 you want to download it to this version i'm not entirely sure why uh, you want to, to run on that version but the dev developers that i spoke to uh, through the ironfish discord channel they uh, recommended me to downgrade because there was some issues uh, on later versions so the first thing you want to do uh, is to um, run windows powershell uh, you hit ironfish no, not ironfish you hit um, the first command you ran when you uh, when you installed ironfish for the first time and that will be npm space install space dash g space ironfish at 0 0.1.70 uh, you let it install or downgrade uh, and when the when the process is finished you want to reset your entire ironfish and you do that by running the command ironfish space reset you will get a warning message about now you're going to reset everything and uh, the databases will be deleted you hit yes for that when you finish with that uh, you're then going to open your web browser when you have opened your web browser you want to type in top here https snapshots ironfish.network ironfish underscore snapshot underscore and the number one seven one six seven eight four one eight three nine six eight seven six dot tar dot gz now when i enter this uh the file will download to my local computer uh this is the solution instead of windows powershell downloading it through this address we are going to download it to our machine through the web browser and then make it and then run a command in windows powershell that makes it uh, unzipping the snapshot file directly on our uh, local computer now the links and everything what you need will be down in the uh, description below but you also remember that this snapshot file is the snapshot file that is uh, is currently uh, the latest one so uh, if you are watching this later on be sure to get the correct file and the way you can do it if you're getting this download timeout messages you can run uh the chain download uh, command ironfish space chain semicolon download and then you will get the address in the windows powershell uh, window you will get the address to what file and location of to, to download that file so just be sure you have the correct file when you download and when the files are finished syncing and not not finished syncing but finished downloading the snapshot file is downloading and unzipped and everything you just run uh, the node you ju just type in ironfish start and it should then st uh, be fully synced through the snapshot file and your node should be up and running uh, and it should now continue syncing with the node and the blockchain uh, as time passes so and this is important when it comes to it is very important that your local node is synced to the blockchain when it comes to having your balances updated and everything because when ironfish is launching out on mainnet 
you will still need, since at the moment there are no other ways of storing iron fish, so you will still need uh, your wallet, uh, if, uh, your CLI wallet in the PowerShell uh, window. So the way you're going to keep that up to date is to keep your node uh, fully synced with the blockchain. So just keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure eventually that Ironfish will come out with a, uh, another type of wallet, either for web or Android, uh, iPhones, etc. But as for now, it's only this uh, option that you have. So keep in mind, have your, have your nodes fully synced so that your your balance sense and everything in your wallet is uh, up to date now thank you for watching i hope this video helped you if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and uh, i see you next time have a nice day